Hello all. Welcome in the ERP SAP team channel. In today's class, we will discuss about how to close the purchase order in SAP. What is the meaning of the purchase closing of the purchase order in SAP? Uh, we will see. For example, if, uh, in the plant, in the company code double one double zero, plant three double zero two, in the vendor this, material this, purchase order this, we have ordered the quantity. 5 kilometer and we have received the quantity 3 kilometers okay so for 2 kilometer of this quantity this purchase order is kept open due to any administrative reason or due to any reason the company is not want to this 2 kilometer or this company uh, is this vendor is not able to supply this 2 kilometer then still this purchase order is open for the two kilometer then it's our responsibility to uh, analyze the case get the approval from the competent authority and close such purchase orders because this open purchase order means you have something pending in your uh, your side you have something pending in from your side so this is how i am uh, practically recommended that once you are Work has been completed. Please close purchase order. Please close. Okay. So this is the case. Okay. We are frequently creating the purchase order on the requirement basis. We are creating the purchase order on the requirement basis using ME21. N. Okay. This is the frequently used the transaction code ME20N. And uh, once we create the purchase order, and if you want to do any changes, we are using the uh, transaction code ME22N for any changes in the purchase order. Oh, okay. So in this case, this is our plant, this is our vendor, this is our material and our company 1100 has a place a purchase order this 42008944489 for this material the quantity requirement is 5 km and vendor has uh, supplied the 3 km and issue a billing invoice and rest 2 km is not yet received that's why this quantity purchase order is open for 2 km. Hope you understand. Okay. <clears throat> so it's time to check that uh, how you can close the purchase order. So how you can close the purchase order. So First, you know that uh, how you check the record uh, of the purchase order, open purchase order. So you can check this record of the open purchase order in ME2N. We have, we have to execute the transaction code ME2N. And in the scope of list, we want to flat data. So scope of list ALV, ALV, okay. In A, in ALV, open good receipt WE101. Okay, open good receipt. So we have two kilometer of the quantity spending for the good receipt. So in the selection parameter, we have taken WE101. In the plant, uh, you can choose and the document date of the purchase order document date you can fill. In the dynamic selection, you can fill, you have more options. Okay, now we are going to execute. See. We have uh, this purchase order, okay. The total purchase order is ordered for 5 kilometer, still to be delivered 2 kilometer, still to be delivered 2 kilometer, still to be invoiced 2 kilometer. So that's why uh, this purchase order is pending for this quantity. Hope you understand. Hope you understand. Okay. So 
that's why we are trying to close such purchase order uh, before the completion of the financial year or yet if we have sure that uh, no in the future there is no material is coming to receive from this vendor against this purchase order okay so go in me 23n in me 23n you can uh, check this purchase order in the take this purchase order okay see this is the purchase order we have created for uh, this material 144 fiber OFC and against this vendor computer gallery okay and uh, we have created the purchase order for uh, 5 kilometer, 1 kilometer price is this, okay. Go in the purchase order history, go in the purchase order history, you will see the good receipt document, invoice receipt document, okay. The document which is start from the 500 is a good receipt document. We have clearly seen that 3 kilometer quantity received on 31st March 2021. And the same three kilometer quantity is successfully invoiced, and the document start invoice document start from five one zero zero. The good receipt document five zero zero invoice receipt document five zero zero. Here see in the delivery schedule two quantity is open. See two quantity is open, and the good receipt quantity is three. Schedule quantity is five, so that's why for two kilometer quantity this purchase order is kept open seems open and so what you have to do what you have to do you need to click on this delivery complete in the delivery schedule delivery complete in delivery schedule and click on the same so in the open quantity nothing will be there nothing will be there see in the open quantity nothing will be there so your purchase order is schedule for three quantity zr quantity three you have tick on the final delivery schedule so your purchase order is not seems to open okay once you uncheck this final delivery schedule the system will reflect two kilometer open once you click on the final delivery schedule system will not show open okay so this is the reason behind okay Hope you understand. If you block this purchase order, if you block this purchase order, then again this open quantity is zero. Okay. So again, this is also a process to close your purchase order, and then you can uh, utilize this. Okay. So it's our uh, humble request with all of you that uh, at least those purchase order you have created using your user ID, those purchase order you have created using your user ID is at least you can monitor the such purchase order and close such purchase order. If no future invoice or invoices are coming in that work or no material supply is near future is coming in respect to any material purchase order okay so if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section and uh, reach us at erpsap team one at the red gmail.com it's very important we have frequently created the basic sap tutorial uh, not at the development stage but we are frequently creating the basic purchase SAP MM PM FICO tutorials. Okay. So thank you. Have a nice day. If you're new in our YouTube channel, please subscribe my YouTube channel and share this knowledge with your friends and colleagues because sharing is Gary. And hope this SAP tutorial will be beneficial to field unit officers. Okay. If you really think this is useful, then press the like button because if you press the like button, then it's give us motivation to create more such and such SAP tutorials. Thank you. Have a nice day.